Now I am going to explain you how to do bank reconciliation. When we enter everything to our system, after that we have our statement. Then bank also send in their statement. All happening end of the month. Now we have two statements, one from bank, one from us. This is from bank. Now we are going to tally each one by one. If something missing, we are going to enter. Now we are going to do bank reconciliation. Click banking. Click reconcile. Then we are going to do account that is bank current account. Date should be last date of that month, 30th June. 30th June. Automatically these things come in. Ending balance, it should be according to bank statement ending balance. This one. Then this, this thing also you can put it last date of June, last date of June. Now we are going to continue. Now one by one we'll check from bank account and we'll tick it. Opening balance 13,98424. It's there. Look at here 13,98424. Now second one. This is rent 500. Now here we have 500 rent. It should be expenses payment. All right. Now here, 3,600.12. It's in other side. Deposit 3,600.12. Third one, 6,000. Take 6,000. It's in payment. It's in money out. Then fourth one, 1425.65. This one, 1425.65. 105, DD, direct debit, electricity. You cannot see. Before last, bank interest, 500.12. Sorry, two zero. It's not there. These two not there. We have to enter. Last one. Twenty nine. Uh, Four hundred twenty one point one six. Yeah, we have two missing. That two missing we are going to enter. What are the two? First one direct debit. This is money out expenses. This is money in. This is income. This is payment. This is receipt. Okay. Now we are going to enter first one. Direct debit. Exit. Uh, direct debit. Electricity. Payment. Now we are going to enter. Any payment if you want to do banking. And write check. Bank current account. What is the date? Date 27 June. Amount, amount five one o five. This is the electricity. Direct debit mm -hmm. electricity. In this question, they are telling. Enter additional item on the bank statement that have yet to be recorded into the according to software ignore VAT. Now we have to ignore VAT. Account. This is you can put it utilities. And VAT should be zero rated. Everything okay? Click save and close. Now it's coming. 
now i am going to enter other one what is other one bank interest bank interest money in received then click banking and make deposit money coming in not any customer supplier this is from bank interest under income any interest no we are going to create bank interest add income bank interest it's in uh, box amount 500.20 click save and close now you got two things one from this one you have to tick that is uh, electricity and this one bank interest now look at here difference down there difference going to be zero that means totally both are tally now you click reconcile yeah click display now click okay nicely you can see everything